Our scripture this morning is, as usual, in two different places. And you've probably read or heard both of them. Proverbs 22.6. This is taken from the NIV. Start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Our second passage this morning comes from the letter of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. I know most of the children will obviously don't hear. No, there's a few here. So, children, obey your parents. <laughs> Made sure they heard that. Uh, in, in the, uh, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers and mothers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Let the word of the Lord go into your ears and into your heart, and lived out in your lives. Could we have the children come forward at this point in time? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, anytime. <laughs> And next week, I'll get the red carpet for you okay. and the paparazzi. Uh, okay, just want to make sure. All right. Uh, what did you do yesterday? You went outside and played, right? Nope. We went to another walk up. Okay. But when it's rainy, you can't go outside and do all the fun activities you'd like to normally do, right? Oh, okay. I play on my Well, on those rainy days, sometimes for some of us, we become for like the good old Peanuts uh, cartoon of the newspapers. Charlie Brown is new. <laughs> Basically, we see in some of those panels where Charlie Brown and his sister Sally are just looking out the window. Bored. Now it's raining outside. So, I thought today, the next time it gets bored, we'll have an activity already planned. We'll come up with our own game. So, <coughs> what should we do? Bible quiz. Bible quiz, okay, that's a good one, good one. Yeah. So, to do a Bible quiz, I can just grab any book and ask you any question. And if you get it wrong, I can soak you with a hose. And if you get it right, I can get candy. Does that sound good? Since it's raining, Well, how about, okay. How about no rules whatsoever? Just do whatever you want. What about history quiz? History quiz? Okay. If there's no rules, how do I know what to do? Make up the rules? Just make up the rules. <laughs> but if we don't share the rules and know what all the rules are. Then I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. I mean, I can. Okay. I'm trying to think of a Bible quiz question right now, but I'm drawing. Oh, how many animals of each went in the ark? Uh, four. Well, no, count what? How many animals of. Or no, one. Or no, two. Yeah, there's two. Six. Ooh, you're close, and you're halfway there. Four. Three. All the regular animals, two by two. But the clean animals, seven. the sheep, the doves, seven. I guess so. Because they needed those for <laughs> sacrificial. I guess so. Yes, you did. You did. You did very good. But the thing is, what I'm trying to get across is, 
if we're going to do some sort of activity, we've got to have some rules. Because I could say we're having a Bible quiz, and no one grabs a Bible except this guy. So he, he's, he's already got all, because he knows I'm going to do a Bible drill, and he's already got all the pages marked. So, okay, I know he's going to John 3.16. I'll put my finger there. I'll put my finger over here in Revelation 20, verse 1. Would that be cheating? Yeah. Now if there's no rules. So but it's hard to get anything done when we have rules. The reason why I say all this is because sometimes we don't like rules. Do you like when mom and dad tell you to clean your room? <laughs> Do you like when the teacher said you've got to get this work done by tomorrow? No, 50-50. When you want to fire off a firecracker, but parents say no. Because they're not around. That's not fun. You want to do something wildly exciting. But they're thinking of your safety. They want to be there to do it with you, and maybe they do it themselves, but that you can enjoy it and not be hurt. Rules are there for place. And rules are there because we love you. We want the best for you. It may not seem it may, it may seem like we're trying to rob you of all the fun of life. <sighs> They're doing it to me again. Just because we, we love you. So realize that that we don't let you just go grab a fork and stick it in and out for fun. We want the best for you. So rules are there to help us know what to do and how to play games and how to live. But also rules are there to keep us safe. And also a way, most importantly, to show that we love one another. Okay? So let us pray, and then we'll go back to Children's Church, where I'm sure there are other rules back there. Yay! Aren't there, TC? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's pray. Laura, I just want to thank you for rules. Uh, they may seem to limit us, not let us do all that we want to do. But there are reasons. It's because you love us. You want to give us guidance on how to live the best life possible. That's why you gave us the Ten Commandments and the Two Greatest Commandments. To remind us how much you love us. We want to follow you, dear Lord. And that means we will be in. And that means knowing that there are rules and regulations, but it's not to hamper us, but to actually give us more joy. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, you may be dismissed. Cheers.